Hello, ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, and here we are. Well, let, uh, let's play Captain of Industry once again. I'm Seven Foot Dust Bunny, and I can see why we're out of fuel. It looks terrible, it looks terrible, but really, this is out of coal. I don't know why it's out of coal, but it is out of coal. And we should be bringing coal in here. Quite high priority. I mean, this is running. This is running. And coal is being dug up. But they do not seem to be going. What I might do is I might allocate a couple of these big ones here to the old uh, coal situation. We will. Um, can I not uh, super refuel it or something with Unity? Okay, I'll recover with Unity, that will be fine. And uh, hopefully, these will go and get this running. Worst comes the worst, temporarily I can turn this back on, which I might do, because if I turn this one on, it will use the heavy oil um, to produce the steam, which will begin to resolve the situation. Um, which I do want to do. Now, here we are also producing a lot of steam, which we need to sort of have a look at here. Because here I want to junk a bunch of this. Um, this. This. And pretty much all of this I want to junk away. And uh, what I'm going to do is take this out and we're going to manage to hopefully we should be producing fuel now at quite a rapid rate. Yeah, it is. It is working. The refueling trucks are on the way, so that should be fine. And I don't want to delay here because it's important that this gets done and gets back in operation so at the moment we just need this back in operation this will not be priority input priority input will come from over here where we're going to condense down a bunch of the steam in order to reuse it however yeah this this is going up so the fuel situation should be recovering the trucks are going um, over here we don't have masses of glass remaining but we do have ooh, hell um, this isn't producing as many as I'd hoped here um, I feel like you need a unity boost actually you're not even upgraded so go to electric first and that will keep that running but I do want to sort of start switching over and what I'm tempted to do is scrap some of these and uh, scrap for example another one of these and we're gonna start upgrading our excavators and our trucks to be the newer, bigger, badder trucks because they do seem to be much better. And this is now bringing some coal over. So this can pause temporarily though. We'll keep that running. This seems to have resolved its problem. This is at least running. But here we're going to want to knock this down, I'm gonna say because what I want to build here is a cooling tower. Um, so I'm going to knock this down and recover a bunch of this. And we're going to see here if we can... We have cooling towers now. So cooling towers, wow, they only take... Oh god, 
I have just realised, pausing the game, that was not wise at all. Um, because I basically just chopped off all our power. Because these are outputting a lot of steam. 24, 24, 24. So these are producing a lot of steam. And I hadn't thought this through. Um, okay, that was poor. That was poor decision making there, Seth. Extremely poor decision making. Um, okay. So again, I'm going to put down one of these. And that way i'm gonna i'm gonna fix the problem by right getting a large smokestack here and you're going to be ready to deal with any fallout so what we'll do is you are going to can i not deliver this with unity quickly quick deliver it yes quick deliver quick deliver uh can i quick deliver as well because the last thing i want to do is screw myself here right so that should mean that this now at least works and is working and allowing steam out yes Yes, yes, yes. Phew. Okay. <laughs> I'm sure everything's fine. Um, okay. So I need cooling towers, but I'm going to need quite a few actually, by the seems of it. I didn't realize I was going to need quite so many. Uh, and unfortunately, these trees are probably going to be in the way, which is a little bit annoying. Um, but nevertheless. You know, you live and learn. You can go. I, I can't actually knock down a tree, which is really annoying. Uh, you got to chop down a tree with the tree harvester, blah, blah, blah. Um, okay, so, cooling tower. Let's see. I want to put cooling tower here. Here, can I not put it there? Come on. <clears throat> you're gonna make me, you're gonna make me delete that one, aren't you? Yes, you're gonna make me delete that one and move it, aren't you? Just so I can, have all the cooling towers aligned because it doesn't want to align for me. Fine game, fine, fine, fine. Have it your way game. Fine, fine. I'm fine with this. Okay, so then we're building these cooling towers and I'm gonna bring this in like so. And I'm using level two pipe here. I know each one only needs level one, but that way I can just distribute more down here as time goes on if I need to. Um, these should each output 12, which should mean that five, you can get five of them on a small pipe, which is what I'm gonna sort of run with for now because I should only need four. One per doobie jobby. Um, and this is going to be priority output to all of these. And then we're just going to go down here, this way, all the way down to here. So, and each of these is going to connect into here. 
like. So, and this is then going to be the priority input. And you guys are trapped, aren't you? And you're going to get squished because I'm going to replace you. And hopefully, why are we now out of power? We should not be out of power because we are, we have, our demand is 10.4 kilowatts, yes. We're delivering steam. No, we're not delivering steam. Why? We're not delivering steam because, because why am I pumping steam directly into, I think, no, I'm pumping exhaust. This holds exhaust. So that is fine. That might have to not go in there because this has now got exhaust in it and these don't take exhaust. So that's annoying. Okay, so that was my, my mistake right there. Um, okay, that's fine. I paused up again, but I can take that there. And what the problem is, is that this needs to go around here into there. That's how I'm going to do that. And that is going to be quick delivered. And that should solve that problem. And this we should just be able to get rid of the contents of that and get this to working. Yes. Because there shouldn't be exhaust going there. There should only be steam. And if we get rid of all that, there we go. Steam, 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 steam. There we go. And you guys can get squished as well. And we will upgrade you. You're not gonna work, are you? I'm gonna have to recover you with unity to get you squished which is just sad um, still never mind okay power is back up which is a small win now one thing we've got to be aware of here is we are now bottoming out because we are full on light oil which actually means again we can prioritize this but I'm not going to I'm going to just switch this over manually for now that will help resolve the coal issue down this end I'm gonna pause this one and unpause this one because my power generation is no longer chewing coal I should have plenty of coal to go into here which can buffer this up and this is already happily chewing down through this so I am probably actually going to switch this to one on one to help balance that out a bit. But this should now be recovering a lot of the water that we're using. I mean, it, we're recovering around, was it 48? So we're recovering around one boiler's worth of water. which isn't bad. It's not bad. I'm happy with that. We are therefore making progress. And here we have soybean. Happy days. We're producing soybean. I don't know how we're going to get the rest of soybean on the go. Um, and I'm not quite sure what to do with soybean yet. So we'll have a look at that as well, which will be under food production, which soybean, water, sulfur and lime make tofu and animal feed. Really? That sounds disgusting. Lime and sulfur. Tell me that's not real. 
because in reality I know nothing about produ production of tofu but I mean that just sounds hideous if that's if that's true I mean that that sounds absolutely freaking horrific who would want a foodstuff made with sulfur you um Okay, so I'm horrified by that at least. Um, so how much water does it require? Six. So with that level of water being required, um, I am tempted to take that from rain uh, sources. And how much tofu do you produce, good sir? Produce 12. Which isn't a vast amount, but you would take nine soy to do it. Okay. Um, fine. We'll have to see how this balances out. Because what I'm thinking is to grab some rainwater for this purpose. Because why not? I'm not really using this space. I could do both. I'm not sure it's necessary. But that could mean if I need to build up supplies in the future, we, we've got them. So I'm going to do it again. I'm only going to put one of these down. So put down this. Why, not? Why can't I put this down? Is it too close or something? Terrain too... Oh, because I somehow moved it up. I was going to say, terrain too low? How is that a thing? Okay, so. This is going to produce the water for the making of the tofu. And then we're going to bring it over and we're going to bring it in. Now it's going to keep trucks and stuff able to move. As well as apparently farm could not store all corn after harvest. Um, yeah, that's probably this one. I mean, there's a, t a strong temptation here just to go tofu tofu. We are now chunking up the vegetable supply as well. This is with the help of fertilizer, so that should be boosting food supplies anyway. But I really want to see tofu supposed to help quite a bit, so I am tempted to see what tofu has to do, what tofu will do for us. Um, I'm not sure if I'll need two tofu things, which is quite possible. Um, so, I'm going to provision as if I do. And we're going to take a loose storage here. You are going to be the lime. Um, yes, you are going to be limestone. And you're going to be keep somewhat full. I mean, this should have plenty. Um, I'm hoping with the two of this, these, this will be more than enough rain, rain water for the job for now. I'll be disappointed if it isn't, let's put it that way. And then this one, I'm going to go... Hmm. Not quite know how to do this so that it so that we keep it truck friendly. Here, um I guess like that. And then we'll go down and then if we have to bring another one in we can sort that out later. 
Um, and this one. Again, I'm going to go up, up, bring it over a bit to there, and then I'm going to go down into here, and I'm not sure if that's very truck friendly or, or not, <laughs> but uh, okay, let's go up to here and then see if we can bring it around that way. Wow, that is not very truck friendly. Okay, fine. Fine, fine, fine. I'll live with it. I'll live with it for now. It's not very pretty, but I'll do it. Just for the sake of doing it, because things are getting a bit sort of... Now I feel like I'm just sort of stuffing stuff in and, make, uh, and making do. But um, it's all part of the learning curve. Oh, that's my excuse anyway for now. And uh, so you are going to be putting your finest tofu through there. Um, why are you not bringing lime? Um, we might need to boost this up as well. Um, so you. Right, the big one. You are getting assigned to the coal. Yes, you are. Um, now, iron, we're, we're absolutely heaving on iron. So I'm going to take two off again. We, we just, we're, we're still absolutely packed on iron and we're even full on things like loose copper here I mean we've got loads of copper I don't even know what to do with the copper scrap I've got so much um, I have to see if I can sell it or something can I trade it away I don't know I'm going to be capping out very soon on copper scrap um, but I am now tempted to say, right, I'm going to add you to there and you, and we'll put a couple of you on there. Tell you what, I'll even put one of the big ones and we'll see what happens. That should help sort that out because this isn't being kept full. So if I... Have that that should yeah we've got plenty of this to dig away the big question we're dump we're not dumping dirt there we're not dumping dirt there are we collecting much dirt not a lot fantastic good to know and tofu um, okay we're not making any tofu at the moment which is a little disappointing I'll be honest here um, animal feed yes um, animal feed well I'm gonna put the animal feed into a container but I'm going to have that container as keep empty because we have other things for animal feed to be stored in. So you're going to take animal feed, but I'm going to ask you to be kept empty. And you're going to go to there. So we now have some tofu. Yes, we do. Yep, we actually have tofu being produced. And we do have plenty of water. At least at the moment, we'll have to see how that goes. But we are producing some tofu. 
So my thought, um, so yeah, here's my thought is to actually do away with the corn in here and switch this to tofu. And then I'll just get the trucks to deliver it for now. Because that corn can then all go down to here. Where it's actually being used. I mean, we have corn supply over here as well. So there's no reason that this does need to desperately be corn. And we can get rid of this horrible little bit that doesn't work very well. It's been bugging me for episodes and episodes and episodes and episodes and I can feel better about it so well, that's the plan anyway so I'm gonna delete all of that and let's see can I nope if I select this line, can I purge it? Apparently not. Um, that's annoying. Okay. Um, doesn't really want to be very friendly there, does it? Let's delete both of those. And then I should be able to fix it. Says so I make that work properly. So U-shaped conveyor to U-shaped conveyor, right there. That should be fine, and that should no longer give us any problems there. And you, sir, you are going to take Tofu. And you're going to have trucks. Hmm. I was going to say trucks deliver stuff. But, but, he says not actually very happy with that because if I make trucks deliver stuff there it's gonna get silly okay fine 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 game <laughs> yeah because then they'll start doing weird things with potatoes again and then I have to live with the consequences of the weird things with potatoes which is not what I want to live with Okay, then you're going to go down one and go under here. You're going to go around. Like. So, literally over that pipe, thank you. And then we're going to go down and in. And perfect. And that is going to be tofu supply. But well, now we have plenty of limestone going in there. We do not have anywhere near enough. Um, I mean, we've got tons of corn going down here. And all the corn is going essentially the right way. Um... So that's fine, it is moving slowly and the corn will go and there is soybean to be to be had. It's just got to chunk through all this stuff and this I am going to change to soybean as well. Fertility consumption has increased due to lack of rotation. Yeah, well that's fine because I'm actually going to say, right, boost this up, use all the juice you can. Let's see how much tofu we can wring out of this one bloody thing. Because we have tofu on the way. And there we go, right away, food is jumping up to 11. That's a win. People love tofu for some reason. People love sulfury flavoured tofu. 
So, what else would people love? Probably eggs, sausages. I mean, it's a source of protein, which I guess we weren't providing before. So we've got vitamins. Vitamins are being provided by things. So I see. So what you've got, things like carbs, are already being provided by like potatoes, um, corn and bread. So tofu is now providing protein. It's now really our only source of protein. So what happens if I buy some chickens? I thought oh, it's a really stupid question, but I kind of got to know. What happens if I buy chickens? Can, can I make a chicken farm? What can I do with chickens? Tell me what I can do with chickens. Do I not have those? All required stuff is loaded for the cold mine. Okay. So you say all required is loaded for the coal mine. But you say you're waiting for parts. Is this for the repair? You're waiting for mechanical parts. Do we do we not have what's going on with mechanical parts? Tell me, tell me, tell me. We should have loads of these things. We've got loads of them. Oh, again, because I've blocked this off. The issue is there's nowhere for pickup of mechanical parts. This is the problem. I've blocked off the thing. Truck couldn't get to it. So I've stifled our supply of mechanical parts. By just basically blocking access with the crazy spaghetti. So you're going to take mechanical parts, you're not going to be in, but you will distribute them outwards, which will allow everything to get them that needs to get them. Current research is too advanced for our lab. Good God. Tell me it isn't so. Okay. Um, is that salt production? Am I too salty for production of labs, or is that something else? Can I? No. Yes, salt production is. Hang on a second. Is this right? Hang on a second. Cancel. Right, let's just at least start off by researching these bits while we can. But let's be honest, we're going to need to upgrade this lab. I suspect because of salt production, Nats are not sure if we want that. Ship bridge. I need the ship bridge, definitely. And recycling edicts. Yes, I think I want those as well. Um, okay, so let's have a look at upgrading. We'll have to have a look at what that then needs research component wise, because that's going to stall everything out all over again. Okay, you're repaired. You're good to go. Thank you. Now we can deliver cargo and get the coal mine going. So, big life question. What's going on here? Uh, why? You can be upgraded? You can be upgraded? Interesting. Okay, let's upgrade you. That sounds interesting. Um, let's just delete that. Go away. Because you don't need fuel delivered. It's all handled here. So let's, let's get that upgrade. 
So can we upgrade this as well? We can upgrade that too. So let's upgrade all of this. Can... I'm not sure what that's doing for me. Wow, okay, what the hell? Um, wow, we are full on, well, we're, we're pretty much full on diesel. So that's fine anyway. Um, we're very topped out on heavy oil, but we'll top that up as well. Um, my question is, why, why is this not doing anything? Um, so you're empty, you're empty. What have you not got? I was providing you steam, wasn't I? Didn't I provide you steam? Oh, I'm not providing you steam from both channels. I'm only providing you steam from one channel. That's messy. Um, okay. How do I deal with that? Um, let's see. Can I bring it around to here? Beautiful. It couldn't possibly get more confusing. So now that that's producing the steam, that should be fine. <laughs> and is, is that going to work? That should now be sending steam this way into this one. Which is going this way, which is going this way, which is going this way, which is operating this, which is operating, and this is working again? Yes. Good. Because we are filling up on sour gas, and then we are dump, oh sorry, on sour water, and then we're dumping sour water, which is bad news. So, this is where I feel like I need to have a second one. Mm. This is where I feel like I, I need a second one to sort of make sure we're making enough. But since I, I want to stick it in like sort of that way, but that's definitely not going to feel good. Um, okay, that would essentially work, he says. Maybe. What if I did that? No, because it comes out the wrong side then. Um, I mean, I could do it that way. And then it sort of brings it out in the right place. Yeah, I'll, I'll do it this way. And what we'll do is we'll actually take out a chunk of this. And then we can go... Go up by two. I have my reasons for this. And down again. Well, that'll be fine. Then that one can go there. To I mean, you would really like it to go there, but the world doesn't seem to like it that way. But there you go. Um, and this one, U-shaped conveyor, just a standard U-shaped conveyor into here, shouldn't be a problem. Here we need 
Oh, we know we need the steam up here. And the sour gas in the other way. So, steam there. I know, okay, that was sour gas. Whoops. Steam doesn't really matter. Well, at least according to the game, it doesn't really matter. And that, I'll just let it auto root. It's a bit higgledy piggledy, but I'm happy with that. That can go into there, and that can do the trick. And then that can turn the tide on this. I mean, it probably would have turned the tide anyway, but I'd rather have a bit of overkill there so it can turn the tide on the actual sour gas production so that I'm not dumping. Because I want to try and avoid this dumping because this here, now, that is happy, happy people which produces more unity, which produces more health, which has all sorts of good positives. So that's good stuff. And we are hammering through that, which is... Is that running at full tilt? I think it is, you know. Because this is running at full tilt. Yeah, we're going to have a slight issue with the amount of stuff we need. Yeah, we're, we're burning through fertilizer faster, faster than we can use, faster than um, we can produce it at the moment. But on the bright side, Tofu. Tofu's a win. So with that, and now we have a coal mine ready to go. I don't quite know how to utilize a coal mine, to be honest. So this is now upgraded. So, ooh. So, wubba hubba hubba wubba hubba hubba um, okay. So then you have loose storage modules. Right. So this can then take... What? So can I build another cargo depot? Somewhere else here? Um, that will take... I don't know. Stupid question. Coal? Because this can now take oil. Like, I've upgraded this and this can take massive amounts more oil. But I don't actually need massive amounts more oil. What I need is massive amounts of coal. Um. Hmm. And I don't really have somewhere better to import it than over here on this side um, okay I mean this is still building out but I need to think about this because there'll be a major route then running through I mean at the moment there kind of is a major route running through there already so that's not terrible um, but I most certainly could then run and I mean it seems to say that's okay so I could actually put that running coal hmm but I think that's gonna have to be next time because I'm gonna have to say Thank you very much for watching, like and subscribe as always, and join us again next time. Thanks a lot.